Out of nowhere, I'm not kidding, a goat came by and fucked me. The goat was kind of like half person, half goat. And ever since then, I have loved feta cheese. Hi, I'm Jessica Kerson, and this is a story about when I took mushrooms and I was fucked by a goat. I went to University of Maryland. I was in a Jewish sorority called Delta Phi Epsilon. And my roommate, Julie, and I decided that we were gonna take mushrooms. I had taken mushrooms a couple of times, you know, just like a stem, a cap. I was like, I'm gonna take more this time because I'm a drug addict, so that wasn't enough. I had to take more drugs so that I could not remember my childhood. My dad used to get angry and rip off his toupee in public and throw it. So I took a bag of mushrooms and so did she. By the way, if you've never taken mushrooms, they taste delicious. If you've ever tasted a dirty asshole, like after someone's run about 11 miles and shit themselves, that's basically what it tastes like. Like the mushrooms came out of that. By the way, when the guy gave them to us, he was like a guy from Queens, New York. What's going on? How you doing? I hate my mother. You know, that kind of guy. I'm gay and I can't face it. I want things in my asshole. He was like, you might want to spit these up. You'll see a lot more. I, di I didn't understand what he meant. We were walking and I started feeling a little nauseous and so did she. And things started to move a little. Um, and, and we both started hysterically laughing. And that was a lot of fun. We were like, <laughs> We went to use a public bathroom and she was like, I don't feel good. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. And I'm like, <laughs> that's so funny, <laughs> like just laughing at her. And then all of a sudden she's like, <laughs> and I am dying laughing. And so then we went walking and she started laughing again. And then all of a sudden I started not to feel well. And I'm like, we need to drive home now. So. This is the point, I, I did a horrible thing. I ended up getting in the car. I, I don't suggest anyone does this, except for everyone I hate. I panicked and I, I felt I had to get home, so I drove back to the sorority house. I put the car in park, car on, opened the car door. I rolled out of the car, because um, again, at that point, I was very heavy, so I just rolled places. I rolled out of the car and I vomited. The demon came out. <laughs> I wish I sucked dick. I don't even mind sucking dick because I'm an eater. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I like that feeling in the back of my throat. I just don't like what's inside the dick. Like, if it were tzatziki sauce or baba ganoush, I would down it. I'm not drinking Elmer's glue. I ended up going into the house. That's when the real hallucination started. I ended up going into my room and, um, I was not okay. Everything in my room was moving. My sweaters flew out of my closet at me. They were folding themselves in midair. Out of nowhere, I'm not kidding, a goat came by and fucked me. The goat was kind of like half person, half goat. And ever since then, I have loved feta cheese. My sorority sisters weren't there, but I thought they were there and they turned into these monsters and they were like all screaming at me. You have no money, you're ugly, you're disgusting. And they turned into like these monsters and were all around me and I just saw all this hair. You know, years ago, big hair was really in. So it was just like all these like monsters with huge hair. The thing that I hated about tripping like that was being so out of control. But I gotta tell you, it felt like a week that I was on these and I never ever took a hallucinogenic again. I am sober now. I am very, proud to be sober. I never used drugs responsibly. People say, why can't you smoke a little pot? I'm like, because that'll lead to pills and cocaine and eating out of a garbage bag. I am so grateful to be sober and I am honest and happy and at peace and serene. I'm so grateful. Some of you may be confused. When the goat mounted me, the sound it made was so aggressive, just <laughs> I have a master's in social work. Tales from the...